Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to guys create a crosshair. Now if I run my game, uh, you can see I've got a crosshair done already for this guy and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let me just find his main camera. There we go. Okay. Oh god, so many messages. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run the game. Uh, as you can see in the center screen I've got this image that shows me where I'm pointing and that's your crosshair and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make that so let's go to our script folder let's go into our JavaScript one and right click and create a new script JavaScript and call this um, cross here double click and open this in mono develop okay my scripts are, uh, scripts opened uh, sorry guys let me just quickly reply to this message <laughs> okay um Okay, in order to create our crosshair, we're going to be using something new, and this new function is going to be called on GUI. Now, that's what you use in order to create uh, crosshairs. So, delete update and replace that with on with a capital O, lowercase n, and capital GUI. Now, GUI stands for graphical user interface. Now, if you don't know what that is, graphical user interface is used to create menus for games. Now I'll quickly show you an example of one of my older projects and you can see what actually GUI does. Uh, if I can find that project, what the hell did I call it? There we go. Open. Save all. Okay. Now, at the moment, as you can see on the screen, we can't see nothing. No kind of cross here, nothing like that. But if I run the game, as you can see, suddenly two new boxes appear up here. One says play song, and the other says timer equals 8000. Now, what I've done is basically I've created a simple menu. If I click on the play song, it pops up a menu, like so. And it places a crisis theme in the back. And. Um, I've got a button in here that says buy item. If I click on this one, which brings up another menu which says you're about to buy something. Do you want to buy it? Yes or no? And then you have the option to say yes or no. These are buttons. If I click no, it takes me back into the menu. If I click yes, it minus my points and takes me back to the game. So that's what GUI is and that's how games use it as well. And there's plenty of the way you can use this and trust me, when we get to the GUI part, we're going to have a lot of fun because you can do a lot of cool things with them. So let's go back to our project and start creating our crosshair. Uh, let's go back and open my project. There we are. Save. Okay. I'm going to go back and open our crosshair script. Okay, sorry guys if I sound a bit freaky, um, I'm sick. And the first thing I want to do is, on the very top, I want to say var, sorry, public, var, and I'm going to call this texture, capital T, to display. And it's going to be a type of texture 2D. Now basically what I've defined up here is a texture which will hold a 2D image. Now that's going to be my crosser image basically. Now let's go into our function on GUI. How do we create a GUI in the first place? In order to create a GUI you have to type GUI, simple as that, 
and then dot. Once you hit dot, you get options of what you want to do. And you, as you can see, you have the most common one here, which is button. So as an example, I'm going to show you this. So if I select button, I'm going to have to put an open bracket. And inside the first bracket, I'm going to have to put a new rect. And then open bracket and the position of where I want the GUI to appear. Now I'm going to make this appear on the top left hand of the screen. So 10 by 10. And <coughs> I'm going to leave these second two coordinations as zero and then close this off like so. Now I'm going to go back into Unity. I'm going to apply this script to the main camera so it displays our GUI. Okay, main camera, and then I oh, supplied already, so it's okay. And if I go run the game now, oh, there's a little mistake. Okay, uh, yeah, my fault, sorry. After this closing bracket, put a comma and put a double empty speech mark, like so. I'll explain later on why you need that. So as for now, don't worry about that. Okay, uh, run the game, and this time you should see a button on the top right over here. But it's very small, as you can see. Now, these last two speech marks over here are for displaying a message inside a button. So I'm just gonna say, "Hey, dude, what's up?" That's about it. And if I save this, if I go back into Unity, oh god, I run it. The message is uh, the message is there, but I still can't see it. Now why is that? Now if I go back to the script again, as you can see, I have put zero zero over here. Now those are basically defining the width of the the GUI and the height of it. And roughly by looking at this text. I think 150 on the width and 25 on the height would make that text fit into our GUI button. So basically, the zeros over here were for the the width of the GUI button, and the last one is the height of the GUI button. The first two are for the positioning. So save this. Go back to the Unity engine. Let's run the game and see what happens this time. There you go. It says, hey dude, what's up? And it's created a button with a pixel size of 100 and the height of 25. And it's clickable. Now at the moment, we're not going to do with nothing to do with clicking. It's just going to be a crosshair. So, for crosshairs, you have to use GUI.label open bracket rect sorry open bracket capital R and ECT open bracket and we want our crosshair to display into the center of the screen now in order to do that you have to type screen dot width divided by 2 screen divided by sorry screen dot height divided by two and then comma sorry <clears throat> and how big is our image going to be so I'm gonna say 100 by 50 close bracket comma and instead of displaying a message this time we're gonna display a texture so that's going to be the texture I stored in the variable above called texture to be displayed. So texture texture to be displayed. There it is. And I'm going to close this bracket and close the semicolon. Save this. Now go back into Unity. Now I'm going to run this real time. At the moment in the variable down here, you can see texture to display is set as zero. So let's run it. 
and you can see oh sorry let me just turn the other crosshair script off first uh, where is it where is it where is it where is it there we are and let's go back down there and as you can see on the screen this time we can see nothing now it's gonna minimize the screen so you guys can see now in this empty variable called texture to display I'm gonna apply my texture my crosshair texture so I've got one here already so I'm gonna type crosshair there it is and I'm gonna apply this to my camera's open variable and let's see what happens as you can see the GUI appears over here right over here if you can't see it I'll just move about it's right into this in the center of the screen now it's a bit bit right next to the glove so you actually can't see it so let's sort that out next I want to go back into a script and after divided by 2 I'm gonna put minus 25 so go up 25 pixels and the same with the screen height now save it <coughs> now this time I'm gonna apply the GUI already and now when I run it it should be in the center of the screen like so there you are guys that is how you make a crosshair in games see this time it's more reliable I know what I'm aiming at so when I shoot at that it's directly shooting at what I'm looking at that's the good thing about crosshairs as always guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I like creating it don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon